function of the time. We can take this. I'm uh, Morgan Malek, I'm an uh, associate professor at the University of Strasbourg. Uh, I have a PhD in uh, microelectronics um, and uh, I'm in a lab in Strasbourg which is the iCube laboratory and I work on the, the design and the integration of uh, different kinds of sensors and especially sensors for application in the field of uh, medicine and biology. UFAS, I, I have a class uh, with the L3 students and it's, uh, the title of the courses is uh, Computer Science for Physics and Chemistry and the goal of these classes is to give the students some tools in order to use, uh, let's say, algorithm or uh, uh, computer in order to help to solve some uh, problems in uh, physics and uh, chemistry. So, for example, we have to design a, a sensor or you have to process signal from a sensor and uh, I will just give them some clue in order to start and in order to, to, to know what to do with, uh, with this, uh, this data. So it's basically there is a part about the simulation, solving equation uh, using Python, uh, differential equation, etc., etc. And there is also a part that is uh, more focused on data processing, signal processing, a bit of machine learning, uh, and this kind of uh, of algorithm that is very useful in the, in the domain of physics and chemistry. So it's really to give them the let's say the basics and the, the uh, kind of starter, kind of example uh, of uh, what they can do uh, with uh, Python uh, in, the, in this field. What they learn during this uh, lecture can be very useful for them for the, whatever they, they will do later because we, uh, when uh, engineering something, we always face kind of uh, problem like uh, just solving equations, uh, manage data, uh, read the data file, uh, grab data from a website, grab data from data file, etc. Et so I think that for what, whatever they will do in the in their future, they may have to use uh, the technique we learn during this uh, this course. Uh, the student uh, seems to be very interested by the by the by the course, so that's good. They are they are trying. So I give just give them the um, the exercise and they try by themselves. Uh, so that's that's good. And if I have to give them an advice, I would say maybe uh, uh, that there is. Ne there, there is never a bad idea, uh, so if they have an idea, they uh, just have to try and, and, and see what happens, and sometimes it uh, gives very, very interesting results. Sometimes it will not give results, but uh, so never skip by the bad idea and uh, try, uh, try harder to, to find the solution.